Okay, in this video, I'm just going to demonstrate how to create curved text around an object. So for example, if I want to curve words around the outside of this bowl. Now, typically to make text, you would just make a new sketch. You would use the text box tool up on your toolbar, draw a text box, write some words, and then you would extrude that. But what if you wanted these words to be curved or curved around the outside of a three-dimensional object? Well, that we're gonna have to use a custom script uh, and actually import that and use it as a custom tool in our OnShape document. So the first thing you have to do is you have to find the Add Custom Feature button that's probably all the way over here on the far right-hand side of your toolbar. It's this little dotted square with the plus button. If you click on that, you get the Add Custom Feature window where you can actually browse through custom features. Uh, lots of community members can actually code their own custom features for OnShape to make designing a little bit easier. You can make your own using the Script tool but we're going to search for a feature called pp-surface text, no space, dash beta. You should see pp-surface text dash beta. There might be a few different versions. Just click on the newest one and then click on the st surface text. And that should add, if you look on your toolbar, you should see, I actually just removed mine because it was already there. But once you select the surface text, you should see this ST icon added to your, your toolbar here. Let's go ahead and click on the surface text tool. Okay, you get this new window. Now notice we did not make a new sketch. We actually just clicked on the tool while we were in 3D modeling. So this happens after you've already made your three-dimensional model. The first thing it's asking for is the baseline. So where is your text going to curve around? Well, I want my text to curve around this edge of my bowl. So I'm going to click on this edge right here. Now I need to select the base surface. That's where's the text actually going to be sitting. So that's gonna be the surface of my bowl and you can see that it automatically generates some text. Now you're gonna to have to customize it to make sure it fits. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to, instead of having change me, I'm going to type in the name of my dog as if this is a dog bowl here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just select one of the fonts. If you click on it, it'll preview. I'm just gonna go for Noto Serif Bold. And then we have to actually customize the size and things. So. Right now, it's doing the text align fit, which automatically scales your text to fit all the way around the bowl. So if I, for example, put Charlie twice, it would actually fit Charlie around the bowl twice. Or if you didn't want to fit all the way around your object, you can say to align it left or center or right. So I'm going to actually center the text on my bowl, and I'm just gonna orbit around because that's all the way over here now. Now, the next thing I need to do is change the actual size. So right here I have text height. Let's make this say 1.5 inches tall. It's a little bit too tall, I'm going off my bowl. Let's try just one inch tall. There we go, that's a little bit better. So that's fitting on my bowl nicely here. Okay, and then you can customize whether you want the text to be extruding, cutting, uh, how do you want it to be centered on the actual bowl itself? So for example, right now I have it not necessarily centered. It's actually aligned with the baseline. That's right here, bottom. I could say align with the top, which would move me off my bowl. I could center it. I'm actually going to keep aligned with the baseline, but I'm actually going to offset it by say 0.5 inches or so, maybe 0.2 inches, just to get it centered more on my bowl like so. Then it's asking me, do I want to extrude the text? So notice that it's extruding. Uh, here's the depth. So for example, I could extrude more or say less, depending on what I'd like to do. I'm actually going to, instead of extrude, I'm going to cut out text. So I'm going to cut in and I'm gonna cut that 1 16th of an inch. So there it's just cutting in about a depth of 1 16th. And then if I hit my checkbox, I can see that I've successfully curved text around my bowl. Now the same thing goes if you want to curve around on a flat surface rather than a three-dimensional surface. If I clicked on my surface text, I could use the inside of the bowl here as my baseline and the surface to be the flat part of my bowl. And then you'll see that I can, uh, again, if I just center here, and let's just make the text a little bit larger, you can see that the text actually orbits around 
the inside of the bowl. And obviously you could play around with your settings for that to make it look as you wanted to. So just looking, there's my Charlie wrapped around the bowl using the custom surface text feature.